Welcome to a video from TheDigitalLife.com and in this video we're going to be able to look at some of the changes with Redstone 4 Preview on HoloLens. So this is build 17.123 for Windows uh, Insiders. On the, that was released to Windows Insiders on PC on the 17th of March so it's not the final version. There are a lot of nice changes in this and I'm going to show you some of these on here. And I'm also going to show you some of the changes to the PC app and well, the, the web app that uh, you can use to go with this. So, where do we start? Let's start with the Start menu. You see on the Start menu here, um, it looks a little different, it's a little clearer, and um, when you go to, you've got All Apps, and then you've got Pinned Apps. This is just like it is on Windows Mixed Reality headsets. In fact, most of the changes on here are the same as they are on the Windows Mixed Reality headset, as they've aligned those. And so you can see now you've got the option of scrolling through your apps like this and then you've got your pinned apps list uh, which you can go back to there so that's basically the same launching apps is slightly different if I launch an app you see it automatically launches in what Microsoft considered the best viewing position for you so they decide that's the best viewing position for for this app but what you can do now and you couldn't do before is you can move that around so I can move that to there and say this copy of Microsoft Edge I can move that around and you see it's tr it'll try and place that somewhere for me if I place that on the wall over here I should move a bit back from it actually there we go so you can see you've got this um, new way of apps launching and they just appear right before you like that 3D apps uh, have the same thing as well one well, of my changes I could see was for moving apps around, like you see, as I can drag them like that, you don't have to hit that move option. And it also supports two handed, so I can expand and resize them like this. And I can also push them around as well, like this. So I found it a lot easier to move my apps around doing this way, using this, so I can pick that up turn it around and I've, I find I have very precise control over it and something I didn't have before these have changed up here these bars up here so you've got the close one you've still got the resize one and it works just like it does on Windows Mixed Reality headsets you get the options to to move them around like that and but also if I come around here see what I'll do is I'll fire up a a 2D a 3D object and um, we can see we get a couple of other changes to it so here's a nice chair if I put the I can still do the same thing with that I can resize that and move that around but also I've got handles on it and depending on the content you can actually rotate these there we go there's the rotation things I can rotate that around like that I should say while we're on this as well, the Cliff House has some nice objects on there. These are from the Windows Mixed Reality. You can put a shelf up or, or do what you want. And because they're easy to control with the two fingers now, it, it, it works much better. And uh, scrolling works much better uh, with this build now. So this is Microsoft Edge. So here we are with Microsoft Edge. There's quite a few changes with this. They're mainly from the Redstone 4 project. Um, so you've got the new hub here, um, it's a new way of working, they've moved things all across to the right here and it's a, a better way of working really, so it's just matching the Redstone 4 uh, builds. But Edge works a lot better, scrolling and everything else is much better in this and it seems to perform faster as well. Plus there's a new on-screen keyboard as well. and um, I'd say it's the same speed as the other one, but it looks quite nice. Another change is Cortana is now a, has got a dedicated app, so you press Cortana from start menu and you get Cortana, just like the PC version, you've got the typing option um, where you've got your interactions that you would do just like you would on the PC, which is nice. There's some other interesting app related stuff as well. We've got a file explorer something we've not had before and with File Explorer you can navigate your file system and move files around and that kind of thing so I think that's really handy to, to have that 
the photos app has been updated this is now the same one as the as the PC version um, so you've got all the functionality of albums and folders and that kind of thing in there so uh, that's good to see and you can see my video clips are starting to come up as I've re recording these videos OneDrive's also been updated uh, so there's a new version of that as well so there's my OneDrive collection just the latest version of OneDrive and of course another change is the settings so settings is now again updated with the latest version so settings has been updated the latest version and you can also you can see here it looks slightly different but the main functionality is the same but it's got the um, just the new redstone for look and feel to it so the PC version has been updated the, the, the the web access that you can get to it, where you can browse the IP. Um, I won't spend too much time on this, but it's got a new look and feel to it. The functionality seems to be the same, um, but um, th you have got access to this research mode, which there's not a lot of information about this out at the moment. The link isn't live yet, but this allows you to capture some of the developers to do a lot more and capture the the uh, sensor stream on there and you've got a nice view of the system performance and everything from here as well I should mention as well there's a lot of other changes like sound isolation has been proven a lot of the developer functionality and I've got a link article on the digitallifestyle.com how to get this build you have to wipe your whole ends to do it I just want to finish off mentioning that um, the Outlook Mail app seems to work now before I have found it was really dark and I couldn't read it and you see now I can read it so uh, well the, the mail was always fine but just this sidebar was no good so um, yeah that's good to see as well so there are a lot of nice changes to it I've got a full article on the digitallifestyle.com with all the changes and um, well worth checking out like I said to put this build on you do need to wipe your hollow lens and um, I've got instructions on how to do that overall I just found it's faster smoother easier to use, some of the UI changes are much better and I think Microsoft on the right track so it's a preview at the moment and um, it will be coming out uh, soon, we don't know when, exactly when but there's my article and uh, how to install it and I really do like these changes so thanks so much for this video, more on the digitallifestyle.com, at iStix on Twitter and on our YouTube channel